TeamCity now has official first-class support for Docker. Just like any other project, paste in your repository URL. TeamCity will scan your repo and make suggestions. For example, building an image here with the Docker build step. Click Use. And then before we kick off a build, let's come into this build step. In addition to the Docker file, which we can specify if that's somewhere else in our repo, we can also tag our image, save that, and I'll add a second build step, this time with the command line build step, and I'll just use the Docker CLI directly to push my image. And by the way, I'm tagging the image every time with the incrementing build number. So I get a nice history of my images that I can refer back to. Save this here. And now if I come under build features, I can add a build feature for Docker support, and it has a couple of options. First, you can clean up the images that you push out to a registry. TeamC will take care of that when you clean up old builds. And then second, you can choose to log into a registry. In this case, I'll log into a connection I already have set up to the Docker registry. That way I can actually push the image. So this integration, when I save this, works with both the built-in build step, Docker build, and also a command line call to Docker. Now I can click run to create this image. As I'm waiting, I can look in the log and see on the fly output from Docker. And then I can drill in after the fact and take a look at both of my steps. I can see here that I successfully pushed my image. If you scroll up, you'll see a new Docker info tab. TeamCity tracks Docker events correlated with your build, so it can keep track of images that you've pushed as well as images that you've used. So you can see we tagged our image version one and pushed it out to Docker Hub. And take a look at that. There's the image that we pushed. And if I come into TeamCity and remove this build number one, simulating the cleanup of old builds, back out on Docker Hub, you can see the image is now gone. Additionally, the command line runner in TeamCity has been extended. There's an advanced option now to run any command or script inside of a Docker container, which means that any tool that you can run in a Docker container, you no longer need to install on your build agent. This option is available in other build steps, for example, Ant, Maven, and Gradle. And then as far as build steps, there's also a Docker Compose build step. You can use this to spin up multiple containers and networks and volumes as necessary to do some advanced integration testing. TeamCity will take care of starting and stopping your services and allows you to run your tests in between.